all right you guys so I got everything all cleaned up planted and watered in and y'all I feel so much better so I am going to give you guys a tour of everything I have planted up here I'm so excited to share it with you guys I'm going to start off in the same corner I always do if y'all been following along you know I always start my tours over here on this corner so first off I did clean up my day lily here this is actually three day lilies all combined into one love this plant and it looks so much better having that dead out of here over here this is actually a ground cover this is called chocolate chip ajuga i did used to have it filling in this entire area and i've just slowly been pulling it out because i haven't quite decided if i want to get rid of it or just keep it mulched not sure but i do have just a mass of it planted here down in my planter i did decide to pop in three japanese holly ferns i'm not sure if you guys remember my haul from earlier this spring i did pick these three up on clearance intentionally to well the intention for them is to plant them in my backyard but y'all i've been having so much more drama with my backyard that will be a whole nother video i'll update you guys but yeah just potted them in here just to get them through the winter and then i will pull them out and replant them in the spring up here in my planters i did pop in just this is all one plant y'all this is actually a trailing pansy did not know that pansies could trail but I'm gonna try them out because I always pot just regular pansies in here that grow upright and they never fill in. So I'm gonna see how this does. This is just one planted here and then one planted there. So I'm excited to see how those do. Down below that, I did pop in a mum, you guys. This is actually a annual mum. I just fell in love with the like really dark green, emerald green of those leaves. So I know it's already in bloom. You're supposed to buy mums when they're not in bloom yet, but y'all, I do have quite a few buds still there so I'm excited about this one and I just popped it in a little pot that I picked up from a random pottery plate I don't even know if it's a store it's just a random field of pots off the highway that I saw so pick that up from there and you guys I know I picked this up a very long time ago but this is my globe Bruce Bruce that I picked up earlier this summer finally getting it in the ground you guys I decided to remove my little limelight just because it was getting way too big for the space and I know yes this will get big as well I'll give you guys the dimensions up on the screen but I think this blue color looks so good in this little corner and it tucks in perfectly I feel like I need a little pumpkin right here might have to go pick up one more down here I have two mums these are actually two perennial mums that came back from last fall if you guys will remember my video from last season I don't even remember what color these bloom I think well obviously this one is purple and I think this one is orange if I'm not mistaken we shall see and then down here I have my drift of begonias and they have filled in wonderfully you guys this is exactly what I wanted them to do I do kind of feel like the pink doesn't go with my fall colors but I love the statement that it's making so I'm just gonna leave them let them do their thing um, behind that this is my autumn stone crop sedum I think it's autumn joy y'all I can't even remember but love 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 this mauve color that has put on so pretty this is actually two plants that I picked up from the farmers market I think two years ago now so this is its second season doing amazing beside that I have a purple fountain grass that I planted earlier this spring intentionally for it to bloom and do its thing for fall it's just now starting to put out some of its plumes and I just love the grassy movement and texture that this plant provides I actually have two so I have one there one over here on the corner love their movement I just tucked in a little pumpkin down here in the front to be a little bit festive and then behind that this is an anemone I think it's sweet romance anemone if I'm not mistaken it's putting on its show I probably should deadhead some of the spent blooms but just letting it do its thing y'all I do have one two three I believe four but I had one more maybe not but I have four um, what are these called salvia <laughs> planted down here they are purple blooming I did trim off all the spent blooms so hopefully I'll get one more flush of blooms before the end of the season behind that y'all I know y'all if you are not familiar with this plant you probably have been wondering the entire video what this gigantic mass is this is six different coleus plants all planted in the ground as little little babies and they have just taken off you guys this one is by proven winners it is called golden dreams coleus and you guys just look at this 
It did amazing for me last year, but it did not get nearly as tall. This literally comes up to my chin now. And I just love how full it is, you guys. Um, poor little Rosie. <laughs> She's doing her thing, just tucked in there. I do have a lungwort tucked in the center there, which you can barely see, but it's doing fine. So I think that's everything in the very front view. Let's walk around the corner here. Down here on my little corner bed, y'all, I didn't even touch this bed completely forgot but it's okay I do have some lands ear planted around the base and it has filled in and created a perfect ring I am in love with it if you guys remember earlier this spring I thought I was going to lose my tree it is doing fabulous and has put on about another six inches of growth this season I'm so so happy that I did not lose this tree y'all I actually figured out it was just a rabbit that was eating the base and with the lands ear filled in you can't even really tell that the bottom on this side is a little bit bare. So I'm happy with it. Definitely have some weeds that I need to pull that I didn't get to. But yeah, that is the front bed. Let's go ahead up on the patio next. Really quick before we get into the patio, let me go ahead and show you guys what's on my back row behind all of this coleus here. If you guys remember earlier this spring, I did replace a plant with this little giant arbovitae. It is doing amazing, y'all. So fingers crossed it continues to thrive and make it through the winter. I feel good about this plant. Um, beside that, I have an autumn frost hosta that is pushing out some new growth. If you guys will remember earlier this season, we have had three hailstorms here. So all of my leaves are still shredded. I do have some lungwort pups that have come off. It looks like I have two, one back there and one here. That's exciting, always love free plants. I have a boxwood planted here. This one, I don't even know what variety it is, but this is its fifth year in the ground, doing great. I planted it as a little itty bitty baby. Beside that, I have a dwarf cryptomeria. This is the one I transplanted from this spot earlier this spring, and it looks like it's showing a little bit of stress just because I haven't been out here to water and the drip has not been running. So I think it'll do fine. I just need to get my drip system back running like I should be. Another boxwood planted here, which you guys, I probably need to move it over just a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to let it do its thing for now. Another autumn frost hosta and then another little giant arbovitae ball. All right, up here on my patio, first off, over here in the corner, I have my hibiscus tree. This is a double ruffle peach blooming hibiscus. I'll insert a picture of the blooms. I think it's done for the season, you guys. I don't see any buds on it at all, which is fine. Um, I will be overwintering this. Let me pop this leaf off. It's really bothering me. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> That's better. But anywho, I will be inter overwintering this in my garage. Down below that, I have underplanted it with some Alternanthera. And y'all, do y'all see this purple color that it's putting on for fall? So, so perfect for the season. I did also have two Impatience planted in here with it, and obviously they got shrouded out by the Alternanthera, but I'm fine with that. I love how full and lush this space looks. And then as for my furniture, I did purchase this from, it was either Wayfair or Amazon. I cannot remember. I think it was Wayfair. Yeah, it was a Wayday deal. Um, so same furniture as I've always had. I did purchase this cushion from Walmart earlier this spring. And then these back cushions are also from Walmart. They just say fall in love. And I think they're perfect for this season. Moving right along, I just tucked in a few pumpkins down around the base that I had just in my storage closet. This is my, I think it's Midnight Twilight, something or other uh, hydrangea that I picked up on clearance earlier this season as well from Walmart. And y'all, it's been doing amazing. Like the stems are not that pretty red color they were. They've actually turned black now, which they're supposed to. But I just love this chartreuse. I said I was gonna find another word for that. I hate the name chartreuse, but I just love this green color, you guys. And it has actually been this green color since, I wanna say like the end of June. Perfect. Um, so this is one of the newer blooms that it put out, I wanna say like a month ago. So this one is just now starting to turn its fall color. Love, love, love this hydrangea. I definitely will be overwintering this as well. And then we have a sleeping little Jaxley down here. Beside that is my Exora tree on standard. This one is doing great as well. It's putting out a few buds and I have a few blooms left, but this one's getting ready to open up. I'm excited about that. 
are those please don't tell me that's what i think it is oh my god those are really bugs coming out here with my spray i can't oh okay anywho down below that um i just have my little rex begonia here this is going on its third season didn't come back in full bloom like i was expecting it to but i just let it do its thing Alrighty, and then flaking my entryway, this is a clearance hibiscus that I picked up earlier this spring. I believe this one is done blooming as well. Oh, y'all see that? Still got a few buds on it, so maybe I'll get a couple more blooms before the season is over. It does bloom orange, so it'll be perfect for fall. And then behind that is just my other um, Walmart clearance hydrangea that I picked up. Alrighty, and then down here in front, this is actually a calathea that I was rehabbing. If y'all will remember earlier this season, I did cut this all the way down to the base and it has just completely regrown, you guys. So happy it's doing so well and I do have some new shoots coming out. So I will be bringing this in over wintering it as well. And then here is my little fall display I put together for my front door right when you enter nice and welcoming so I was trying to go for more of a green and white theme this season I didn't want too much orange which I think it works perfectly I have a little bit pop of orange on my reef and then a little bit of orange in the little faux uh, floral thing there so I decided to go with faux plants up here this year just because the past years when I tried to put some mums and asters they did not do well just because this is completely shaded all day long it gets no sun so the blooms did not do well so this little faux planter here is from Walmart. The pumpkins that you're seeing here are also from Walmart. Um, these three up here I've had for like three years. I just pulled them out of my stash. And then also the Hello Fall sign um, I've had for a couple years as well. Just pulled that out of the garage. Uh, the hay bales are from Walmart. And then this is actually a DIY if you guys recognize this at all. This is one of my lanterns that I pulled out of my boho loft. Um, also from Walmart. I just spray painted it to make it kind of like a bronze metal effect, but I think it'll be so perfect when it's lit at night. Um, my Hello Pumpkin mat is from Aldi, and then my reef this year, I did not make it, you guys. I was lazy. I decided to just buy one, and this one is from Walmart as well. Walmart came through, y'all. Alrighty, and then swinging around behind me, this is my gigantic hosta, you guys. This one is called Sun and Substance. I know it looks crazy just because all of the leaves are so shredded and discolored from all of the hail and sun scorching and yeah, so I love it here. I know it's too big for the space, but I personally love it and it's going to stay. I was debating on moving it, but I think this season I'm just going to divide it once it dies back a little bit more. Um, just divide it in half and let it regrow. I don't know. Still debating, but love, love, love my giant hosta here. Beside that, I have a Euonymus that I just gave a little bit of a trim job. It had a few rogue leaders that were sticking out, so I just gave it a little bit of a shape. Love the blend. Like, look at all this color, you guys. The green, the yellow, the burgundy, the pink, oh, the blue. I just love colors. Beside that, again, you guys saw I planted a globe spruce here love 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 the blue pop of color and then down along here i did used to have my ajuga filling this whole area i decided to remove it and then i just popped in some mums for festivities so i got all three of these on clearance i know this one is already like in full bloom i do have a few buds that are still going to open um, but this one is orange obviously this one will be white and then this one is purple so i think they'll do great for the fall and then lastly being over this way I just did a little bit of a planting for my fall planter y'all I feel so bad you guys I have not been out here to water and my little uh, emerald colonnade is like balding from the bottom I'm so guilty like this is reality for me a reality check I need to do better with my watering so over here I have a centerpiece planted this is an emerald colonnade holly that I picked up on clearance earlier this spring and y'all it's just been dropping leaves and balding like crazy because I haven't been out here to water it. So I'm making a promise now to get better with my watering. 
Um, down around the base, I just popped in four little annual plants just to give me some color temporarily. This one over here is from Proven Winners. It's part of the Color Blaze series. This one is a coleus called El Brito. And y'all, look at that color. Like the name is so fitting. So I have two, one on each side. Here's the other one. Love that color. And then down in front and then also in back, I have planted two Calibracoa. This one is also by Proven Winners called Tangerine Punch. It is part of the Super Bells collection. So I wish my camera would get these colors right, but it's actually really pretty orange. It's like maybe like a sherbet orange on the outside. It has a really pretty bright red burgundy throat. And then way down inside, like way deep in the throat is yellow. So it's so, so pretty. And I think it'll be perfect for fall. So yeah, y'all, that is pretty much it. That's all that I planted. Um, I am gonna show you guys my front really, really quick. And then we will wrap up. All right, y'all, so here is what my mailbox bed is looking like. Not too much down here. All I did in this bed was I just removed the plants that I had planted around the base. I had some calibracoa and some wave petunias that had fizzled out. And I just think it looks nice and tidy just with this single centerpiece. So this is a fluffy golden arborvitae or golden fluffy arborvitae. I always get the name mixed up, but it's a gold arborvitae. Doing great. This is a um, Anna's Magic Ball doing amazing that I transplanted, I think last year. These two are Carissa Hollies. This is an Abelia, y'all. Oh, I probably should have gave this some kind of trim job. But look at the blooms. Do y'all see that there? So, so pretty. And I know pink and white is not like a fall color, but I just think it's so pretty. I love it. This is a barberry that I need to transplant because it's gonna get too big for this space. And then over here, just the same thing. I just cleaned out this planter. So I think I'm gonna leave the bed like this for the rest of the season. I just love how simple and easy it is. And then here is what my tree ring is looking like, y'all. Did not do too hot just because I never, y'all, again, I've been slacking. So I did not connect the drip. I was watering this by hand for a while and I just completely stopped. So these have been surviving off of rainwater, which I'm impressed with how well they are still in bloom. Um, a couple of them are balding over here, but my begonias will stay until the end of the season and then I'll pull them out. My hookahs did not do too hot. I have a few that took off, um, but they just didn't really beef up the way that I was hoping they will this season. So yeah, that is pretty much it, you guys. That is going to conclude my tour. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my plantings for the season. I hope you found some inspiration in this video. Leave me a comment down below what you guys think and what was your favorite part. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will catch you in my next one. Peace.